shootings in Colorado may renew the national debate over gun control and the ability for anyone to legally purchase high-capacity firepower. You may be surprised to hear what's legal when it comes to buying the kind of ammo used in mass shootings. New tonight, our Scripps National Investigative Correspondent Jim Osmond reports from Washington. You think I'll be like a run on these? You're undercover with the Scripps National Investigative Team in a Northern Virginia gun shop. I said they had a, a 32. The 30 round? round? Yeah. Just more than 12 hours after an Aurora, Colorado gunman sprayed a movie theater, according to law enforcement, using a form of high capacity ammunition magazine. Our producer is here at this Virginia shop to purchase a type of high-capacity gun clip that can hold more than 30 bullets. There's no background check. They don't ask for a name. 40 bucks and it's ours. And in Virginia, it's legal. And the clerk expects in light of the Aurora shooting, there'll be a run on consumers buying the clips out of fear lawmakers would now again ban them. In 2004, a nationwide ban on gun clips with more than 10 rounds expired. Now only six states, California, Maryland, Massachusetts, Hawaii, New York, and New Jersey have any type of ban. Otherwise, buying high-capacity gun clips is legal. Buying a high firepower weapon or ammunition should not be as easy as buying a loaf of bread. Daniel Weiss is with the Brady Campaign, a Washington, D.C.-based pro-gun control lobby. He says it's time to reinstate the clip ban. We need leadership and we need action to strengthen our gun laws to stop this from happening again. The NRA, in light of the Aurora shootings, had no immediate comment on the issue of gun clips, but in the past defended the high-capacity ones because gun owners might need them in, quote, defensive situations. Legislation in Congress to reinstate a ban on high-capacity clips has stalled in both chambers ever since a renewed call for the ban went out after the Tucson shootings. I'm National Investigative Correspondent Jim Osman in Washington.